Hey, I'm Julia and welcome to my CG Bird channel. Did you know how to create a building in minutes using just one photo? Let me show how to do it. Today you are going to learn how to create a building in Blender with image texture add-on. If you didn't know how it's possible before, then watch video to the end, you will find very interesting information. Support my channel by liking and subscribing. Write a comment, it helped me a lot. Let's go! I have a tab on my channel communities. You can find if you go to my channel where I publish various information, I will conduct polls. First, I need to enable one add-on. Everyone who has version 2.8 has it and 2.9 is 100%. You can just need to activate it. Import images as planes. Click the checkbox and it will be activated. First, I create a skirting board. It is quite easy to shape that what I need, but if your texture is rectangular, that you will need to change the UN wrapping. If you don't know how to do this, watch the video to the end and I will show you how to change UN wrapping. We create a new material in the material window, open the shade editor window and pick up image texture. Open our text, I must say right away that this is an easy way to create a multi-story building using the Blender add-on. And enable material preview window. We have prepared everything to start our work. Now we go to edit mode and I use the tool it's loop cut, hotkey ctrl R. In the future I will be using extrude, so we need to create new edges. First create new faces for the walls and columns and then move on the windows. You can take an images where you will be simple windows, not so much details. This is a reference file I will leave in the description and a few more options. You can easily find such photos on the internet. I use Pinterest a lot for reference. It's a popular website and application. If you want to see more videos about Blender, don't write in the comments. We are done with the loop cut and now we will be using the extrude tool. Select our columns and make an extrude. Now you can see that the places where additional polygons were added, the texture looks blurry. Why did this happen? This is because my UN wrapping has changed. Now we can need to make sure that the texture is correct. To do this first, we select all the polygons that we need to change and open the UN wrapping window. Now we can see where the edges are. 
Now select the rest of the polygon. Go to our UV unwrapping and select all the vertex. Hot key U and unwrap. Now we need to put our unwrapping, UV unwrapping parts in the right place. We can see the result, everything is displayed correctly. It reminds to do the same with other polygons. After we have done the unwrap, we put everything in place. I also want to say that sometimes a part of UV change, so they need to be changed correctly. I will show you how to do this. The only drawback is that I use loop cut and it creates a lot of extra polygons, whereas they are not really needed, so such a model is not suitable as a game asset, only if you do oral topology. But if your goal is not to create game asset, but for example just a render or for animations and this is not bad. It is fast and very fun to beginners as you will feel like can create something realistic in a simple way. I remember my emotion when I met myself such a render and I was very happy. Moving on to the windows, we need to select polygons and make an extrude, and also add new material. Immediately create a new material and apply it. And after that we make an extrude. Move on to the another windows and do the same. A little more time and we will get a very cool building. We have the protrusions at the top and bottom of the windows. This is as a future of these windows, so we need to do this. All you need to do is select and extrude. It's simple.
Also in this case we got a defect, like last time, I want to do everything well, so we need to change the UN wrapping as we did before. We have finished making the model, now we will make the glass material for the window. To do this we will change the roughness value. I forgot to apply this material to other windows, I will do it now, I select my polygons and apply them. Now our window looks good. If this video gets more than 300 likes, then I will show the second part where I will show you how to set up the material so that they look realistic, for example like this window, now it reflects what is around, also create height maps and normal maps. Now we will move on to the create the whole building, it will take you a few minutes. We have one element, we copy it and make a building. It's simple. In this way you can create skyscrapes, multi-story buildings, you can create a real city in about an hour or a few hours, it's like magic.
everything is ready now we can add some more floors thank you for watching this video it was your favorite cg bird channel see you in my new video